right. So, um, yep, that's our frustration of staying home. It just, uh, it just sucks. You know, we don't have a, a date of opening yet, but uh, hopefully it'll start loosening up a little bit. We were just talking to Joe who works in the nursing home, so that's not improving right now, but hopefully um, even with as much downtime as there is, there is still so much happening in the real estate field. I was talking to Cheryl today and she just got an offer accepted on a property for one of our REA members for a um, house hack. So there's still things going on. People are improving their credit scores so they can buy their first homes and their house hacks. So there's a lot going on. And today what we're gonna discuss is how you can still get involved in all that activity that's going on, all right? So we're, we're at the core of it all. And so we wanna dispense it out as fast as we can. So tonight we're gonna to uh, discuss some of the success stories that people are having, um, why you do notes, what is a note for those that are new, the opportunities, because that's uh, every week I always put something else in there. And then if you want any education or mentoring ship, we're here for you for that as well, okay? Um, so a little bit about me for those that are new. I'm president of Long Island Maria, and I have been since 2007. I uh, completed over 500 rehabs. I just um, kind of tired of it now, but I, I still like it. I have a private portfolio of 360 units in my past life. Now, John and I have about 100 and something in our current portfolio. Syndicated over $100 million worth of real estate, a New York broker, which allows me to legally do the notes, originating of notes, and the New York, I'm a New York loan officer that just helps me with the underlining guidelines, and I get to do this as a mom. So what I'm so impressed with is that um, one of the numbers that doesn't show up here is in Fund and Grow Money, just in Long Island REA members, we have, um, Fund and Grow has gotten our members over $4 million in lines of credit at 0% financing. I think that's pretty amazing. We've done 74 private notes um, to date with no defaults. Um, we did actually, uh, we have raised just in our private note group over $9 million at various times. Some of it was reused. Investors have earned over 1.3 in interest notes that we write. Uh, the average inf interest rate that our investors are getting at 9%, and if you, that seems high to you, um, it definitely is a good rate of return. And we're gonna show you how it's secured. So a lot of people think when you have that high of a rate that there's a lot more risk involved and that's not necessarily the case. And the question begs is how much money are you making on your money, especially in the stock market? Um, we, it goes up and down when it's good, it's really good. When it's down, it could eat at your principal. So what we try to do is pin, uh, preserve your principal. And one of the ways we have done that is through notes. And that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. Our success of the week is this ugly house that you see before you. <laughs> that is going to be a fix and flip property. Um, we were able to raise money through Fund and Grow. We still have almost, I think we need 25,000 left on it. Uh, to finish out this project and we'll be closing it by the end of the month. But this is going to be a fix and flip that one of our members is going to do. That's Todd Jacobs. So I'm very excited about that. All right. So why am I doing this call every week with you guys it is because community is so important, especially nowadays. And the whole core of Long Island Maria you know, we have those four core principles, right? We have uh, networking, education, real opportunities to invest in deals and resources. That makes up our community. With having the in inability to see each other, you guys have needs of getting your deals done and we have people who are sitting with money. So what we do is try to build this community to try to help keep getting deals done. So we're building this for you. And that's why we do these calls every week. The biggest thing that changed in the industry when all the coronavirus happened was the change in funding. They have ceased funding in 
New York for about 30 days, some of the conventional financers like Chase, they're starting to lend a little bit more again, but it is much more difficult. People who lose their jobs right before they're financing their primary home have uh, have nothing to go on. So these are the some of the challenges that are going on, but we as private lenders keep lending. So the hard money lenders have gone out of business. The guidelines change so ridiculous that um, what's better now is to have uh, private lending to work with each one. So everything that is going on in the industry is fear-based, whether your opinion is, whether this is being blown out of proportion or not being blown out of the proportion, you have to admit that there's a great deal of fear going out in the area. When that happens, guys, this is the time to strike. If you wanna be a real estate investor and really be good at your craft, there's no better time than now. When people are running away from investing, that's when you run into it. And that's when I really became a really good investor was during those bad times because I had to learn how to navigate through it. So that's what I'm trying to share with you guys each week. And um, one of the best ways I found and the safest ways is notes. So if you have money or access to money or investors with money, this is a great way to go on it. So there's two types of notes. There's secured notes and there's unsecured notes. So with the unsecured notes, um, those are usually good for fund and grow money and secured notes are based on being secured against a piece of real estate or a business, okay? So let's look at the secured notes. Secured notes are promissory note to pay back, basically an IOU that's leaned against a property, okay? A mortgage is not a promissory note. A mortgage is actually a lien. So a lot of people get that confused because we always use the terminology, I gotta pay my mortgage. Well, you're not really paying the mortgage, that's a lien, you're really paying the, the promissory note holder. Um, typically when you do first lien secured positions, that means they're in the first position, um, if it was to be foreclosed on, they would get the first right of, of to own the property. These have less risk to it, and the average returns are between seven and 8% on an annual basis. You can be paid monthly, but I wanna make this crystal clear because somebody thought we said 7% uh, per month. Uh, that would be like an 84% eight, rate of return or something like that. So just understand it's 7% on an annual basis, okay? Uh, the interest is paid from the date they close on the property to the date they sell the property. Sometimes it sits in the escrow two or three weeks before and then sits on the back end two or three months before. So I just wanna make you aware of that. If you choose to defer your interest payments and get uh, paid at the back end of the resale, that usually gives you a higher rate of return anywhere between eight and 10% rate of return, okay? Unsecured notes. So unsecured notes doesn't mean that it's truly unsecured. Basically, we have a personal guarantee attached to it. So any of the people we lend to is only somebody in our organization. It's still our member to member funding platform. And we do that because everything is relationship based. The reason why we have no defaults is because every time we lend to somebody, it's somebody we know and if they get into a problem, we're there to help them and they know that, to bail everybody out. We wanna keep the investor sure, safe, the um, rehab investor, we wanna protect their investment as much as we can as well. And that's why we give a lot of education and support. So understand that when you do unsecured notes, you're actually lending to our personal company. So it's secured usually with a business that has real estate assets in it. There's less fees for the borrower. And usually what we do is pass those fees on to you. And so you earn a higher rate of return on, on uh, unsecured notes. Typically it's anywhere from eight to 10%. And then um, if you defer your monthly payments to later, 
it's anywhere from 10 to 12 percent. So these are really good rates of return. Then we have member to member. Now everything that I described beforehand needs $25,000 or more. Member to member is different because again we want all our members participating. So our members can do anything from um, we've done as low as $4,000 to $25,000 in the member to member. Okay, and that is a fixed 7% uh, interest rate paid quarterly. Okay, the nice part is it starts from the day the funds clear in our account. So if you wire them in or ACH it, the day it actually is available, uh, we'll, that's when the interest starts. If you write a check, it's when the check clears. And then um, when you're in it for at least, uh, we ask you to be in it for two years. If you need beforehand, we need 60 day notice to get it cleared out uh, if there's an emergency, okay? So why are we doing it? What's the benefits? Like why wouldn't you just lend it directly to somebody? There's a lot of benefits. One, you need to know how to underwrite loans. Underwriting means making sure that the ARVs are correct, making sure the rehab is correct, making sure that you have an escrow account that you hold the drawers back so that if for some reason something happens to the investor that's rehabbing the house and they can't complete it, that you have enough funds to finish out the project. Um, there's When issues come up, it's nice to have a third party to help mediate the circumstances. And these are all the services that we do for you guys. All right, plus we try to match your investment strategy to the investment project. For instance, if you have a IRA, you may wanna just be, and you wanna have a long-term play, we try to put notes that would be a longer term for you. Cause you don't wanna find out like four to six months, oh, you gotta deploy the money again. And then you have to find, wait for a new project to open up and it takes, you know, two to three months. So while you were making 8% interest, then two months downtime, then you find another project, it might, that's not a good match for that type of investor. Then you have also people that um, have HELOCs. So they have to have a monthly payment because they have to pay their HELOC payment back. So we make sure that we match you to an investment that is paying monthly. So those are kind of the services that we try to help out. Plus, I get a real kick out of it because I love playing matchmaker on these things. So um, kind of goes with the mentoring that we do. So how do you get started? You can do it with cash. You can do it with IRAs, 401ks, lines of credit, collateralized investments, and fund and grow money. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, cash is very easy. So if you have it in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or actual liquidity in cash, um, you just let us know the amount you're willing to invest in a project, and then we can match it to a project for you. We can present it, and you can say yes or no if you like that. All right. With IRAs, if you were on the call last night, um, Belinda was on there, and I thought that was really helpful because Belinda was telling us about how uh, with your 401ks and your IRAs, you're, you're allowed to take loans against it. And it used to be 50,000, they've increased that to 100,000. So this is great because you can double dip. You can actually get paid money from your investments outside your IRA. And when you pay it back, you have to pay it back with interest to your IRA. So that's the best of both worlds. Um, so if you have any more information, want any more information on that, <clears throat> just email our office. We'll give you Belinda Savage's information. I believe it's on our website. It'll definitely be on the revised website that we're doing. Best in financial institution lending when you're doing with HELOCs, just so you know, Teaches Federal Credit Union, Island Federal Credit Union, and Suffolk Federal Credit Union are all doing promotions of 1.99. I wanna make it very clear, be careful. Um, HELOCs are much better than refinancing a house to use for money into investing in notes. The reason why is they use simple interest. So it's interest only payments and you only pay interest when you use it. So it's a much better investment. The reason why most people will not let you know about HELOCs 
is because um, there's not really commissions to be paid to loan officers. So that's why credit unions tend to be your best financial advice uh, lending institution for these. Also, if you have Bethpage, Bethpage just has a little bit higher criteria on the credit I found, and it was a little bit harder to get. So just want to let you know. Stocks, bonds, if you have a portfolio in your, um, in your a portfolio, like a stock portfolio, you can get asset back loans against it. So it's actually lines of credit. Again, you don't have to pay interest until you use it. And it's available money while you're still making the same interest on your portfolio that you have in Wall Street. So beautiful thing. I also want to let you know, Roy Flager, um, he's going to be doing a call with us. I don't think he was able to make it tonight, but he is actually going off on his own. And I'm very happy to help support him in that because he wants to do more of a boutique and a customizing of a full financial portfolio. So you'll get advice on both stocks, bonds, mutual funds, insurances, and also real estate. So we'll be assisting him on the real estate side of it as well. So those that know him, that would be encouraging. Fund and grow. So I've been talking about this for a long time. Like I said, $4 million has been lent to our members or they were able to obtain through fund and grow for financing. Um, we're having a special next week. So May 20th and 22nd, we will be having webinars on fund and grow. So if you wanna register, I'll be sending out some emails this week, just link up to it. Many of you have done it before, but we get special discounts because we have a, an affiliate relationship with them. You get $500 off and you also get a two for one price. So I know a few of you guys are going through it. Whenever you go through it, just let us know what you're, you have available and we'll start matching it up for you. This is the best way to make money on other people's money. It's one of the simplest ways I found and once you get addicted to it, it's very easy to do. But I also found like, Jude, you asked, I think you text me on this once, like how do I get other people to invest with me? So having experience of being a note holder is the best way to do it. So that's why Fund and Grow is good because it's not your own money, it's using the bank's money. You invest and then you learn how it goes and then you are your own testimony to other people say, I did it and look, here's my check, right? So here's my check every month I get. That's how you use it, okay? I figured I'd answer your question on the, the call tonight. <laughs> um, I love this. Uh, David Rodriguez, I left this on from last week, but David Rodriguez, he only had $35,000 and he was able to get um, $3,400 in interest. That wasn't his money. Now he wound up getting two or three other cards as well, but on just this one funding, he was able to get that. So that was really cool. I think in all, in total, he's going to wind up making about $7,000 and that was from one found round of funding. So not bad um, for having your money work for you, having your credit work for you. So again, where do we invest the money? So I want you to understand. Uh, members send in their deals. We'll look at it. We don't say yes to every deal. And that's really important for you guys to know. There's lots of deals we say perhaps you should recheck your numbers or we'll restructure a different way. So I want you to understand that oftentimes when you send in deals, just don't under, just understand that sometimes we're not using private money to help fund those deals because we just don't believe it's a good fit. So we can do first liens. And then we do gap funding. So we could get hard money lenders or institutional money for the first part. And then we gap it with the down payment money. So that's one thing that we use it for. Other times we use it as joint ventures, which um, I was able to do with a lot of the uh, mentoring students. We did a lot of joint ventures. And then why I'm so passionate about notes. And I know I tell this story every week, but I wish you could see how much this impacted this woman 
when she realized she could live with her grandkids on in New York. Now, she may be singing a different tune because who wants to live in New York with the amount of taxes we're going to wind up paying from after this whole disaster is over. But this is real and I want to impress upon you. She was 62 years of age. She only had $500,000 in her IRA. She was going to go through that money very quickly. In about 10 years, she would have had nothing in her older years. This investing in notes, she took 400,000. She took a leap of faith and invested in me and we put it in a project and she got a check for four years for $3,333.34. And after those four years, she still had her $400,000 that she was able to take and reinvest in something else. So I can't tell you um, how impactful that was that she, now that she knows how to do private notes, she'll never outlive her retirement money if she's investing in notes this way. So that's why I bring up this example because you need to understand how much this impacts somebody's life, that she was able to see her grandkids all the time until they were older and they could graduate. And, and then she can make choices for herself. And then she had that peace of mind that she could live anywhere and she would not outlive her retirement. So the more you guys can pass that along to other people, the more empowerment you give to other people because they don't know about this. I mean, there's probably, I don't know, 30 of you guys on this call or so. And there are so many people do not know about this. Every time I have a mentoring class that are brand new, they never heard of it. Um, I was having a conversation with Bill Cunningham today and we were talking, he's like, I've been in this industry 20 years. And in like six months, you know, he's learned strategies that are just not known out there. So it's, it's getting that message out there. That's really important. Wall Street knows about this, guys. They want to keep it a secret. Don't let the average person be able to make this kind of money, okay? Not only is it helping them, but it's also helping the investor as well. So I like staying on that. All right, so now to the juicy part. What's the new, new deals, okay? So um, just disclosure, memberships, um, one of the requirements we do have to investing in these exclusive deals that you have to be a member. Our membership is only $225 for the entire year. Um, you can pay it at the time of doing the note, but um, we do require it to be in the membership. And one thing I am letting you guys know, and I let people know last night, we're going to extend our membership an additional three months because of the virus. Okay. All right. So uh, we're slowly raising capital for these 10 houses in Memphis. I uh, just want to give you an update. Five of the houses are occupied with tenants and have pay rent. Three of the houses are now turnovers because they, um, they don't need as much rehab as we thought. And two of the houses need complete rehab. And that will be, when I say complete, I mean 20 to $25,000 in renovation money. The ARV is $800,000. And if you did the entire note, which is $450,000, you'd be getting a monthly payment of $3,300 a month. So this is really good for people who need that fixed income coming in, works really great in a retirement account. So anybody who has retirement funds that are looking to put them to use, I highly encourage this. It's not a big changeover. This is gonna be at least three years with an option if you want to renew for a longer period of time. So this is really good um, cash flow property, okay? Cash flow note. This one happens to be uh, one of our mentoring students. Him and his wife are gonna buy it for a house hack. So we're gonna joint venture with them to do the renovation. So they're gonna learn, earn, and live in the house. So this is kind of cool. So the purchase is about three, uh, the purchase price is about 330,000. I say that because there's some other liens and judgments we have to settle out at closing. The rehab will be about 75,000. The loan amount is 400,000 and uh, it's paying a 10% interest 
um, which will be paid back on the refinance of the property, okay? And the ARV is 550, so you've got about $150,000 worth of equity into the deal. So this works out really good. This is a new project from Bruce um, on the fix and flip. So it's in Mount Sinai. Uh, we need a loan amount for 315,000. He's purchase, purchasing it for uh, roughly around 300,000. Rehab is about 300, uh, is 35,000. And the ARV is 450,000. And this one is also paying 10% on the interest on the resale. And one other one, this is more for cash flow. This one was a renovated house. It's $100,000. There's a tenant occupying it right now. They have a lease purchase. So we weren't able to refinance it because they're gonna be buying it next year. And so what we're looking for is 9% and that will be paid monthly. So again, if you need something paid monthly, this is a great project to get involved in. All right, so that's our projects of the week. Again, if you, um, some of the benefits that we have here is just that you can get paid monthly or at one lump sum at the back end. Some people like the lump sum because it feels like a real big check that they get, you know, $3,500, $7,800. I just wrote one last week for $14,000 and change. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this month alone, I've written out over $25,000. i am doing the bills right now because Lee and um, Cheryl aren't in the office anymore. So I apologize, I'm dropping the ball a little bit here and there, but uh, it helps me impress how much interest members are making. So I think that's kind of cool. All right, um, some people have approached about the mentoring, a couple of things. Uh, it's the Learn and Earn program. So it's not a lecture, it's not constant Zoom calls, although right now it sort of is. Um, but it's real value, it's customized. And if you'd like to be involved in the mentoring program, definitely talk to Sean. The point of the mentoring program is to help change lives. This is the most fulfilling work that I ever do. I really enjoy it. I am your mentor. I'm not, you know, Sean, Cheryl, Mike, they all support and help and Kristen too. Uh, but um, you actually have access to me. I, you can ask any of the mentoring students. Um, so if you want to get involved in that, and also mentoring students get uh, a premium on some of the notes that we do as well. Okay, so I just want to let you know about that. And if you want to get involved in notes, just email Cheryl and she'll set up a conversation with you if you want to let her know um, how much money you're looking to invest or where, what you're looking to invest or any funding needs, just email her and she'll get back to you. All right, a couple of things. Uh, webinar Wednesdays, we're gonna be doing every week. Belinda was gonna go on the call next week, but then I just realized that was our fund and grow call. So I, I'm gonna ask her to come on May 27th. So I just wanna let you guys know about that. And uh, for those that are already registered, it'll be the same Zoom call now going forward. And anybody new, we just have them register. So I'm working on the technology piece of it, okay? Hey, All Melissa? right, does anybody have Melissa, is there a minimum loan amount for each deal rather than a whole amount? Yes, um, there, you don't have to do the whole amount. It's in increments of 20, it's $25,000 minimum. And then you can do any increment of $1,000 after that. So let me give you an example. If you want to do $38,000 on a project, you can do that. Um, it's a minimum of 25 and then um, increments of $1,000 after that. If you want to do member to member, the minimum uh, we request is $5,000 and um, that goes up to 25. Okay, we have made exceptions um, here and there for 4,000 for people who need it in their IRA because it's more important that we see you guys start earning money, you know. Um, any other questions? Oh, is that Colin on? I just saw Colin. That's cool. Hi, Colin. <laughs> Hi, Lamb and Mike. There's so many of you guys. Oh, I love seeing you guys. Um, all right. So notes are a big thing. So keep. We're Lisa, gonna keep. Can yeah. you can you read the uh, the question? It's a long one. 
uh, it's in the question. Do interest fund and grow. How will it? Okay. Uh, be I got it. Assistant? Since entering right. fund and grow, how will it be by assisting and structuring? Um, I'm instead of paying off what it. Okay, so he's asking about should I be paying off credit cards that I owe, or should I use it to invest? Is that right, Julio? Is that basically? All right, so crazy. Don't mute yourself too, Julio. So here, here's a, the mindset that I go through, and you have to weigh it out. I always go back to Robert Kiyosaki's model: buy assets, guys. If you want to get out of debt, paying off debt will never get you wealthy. Buying assets that pay off your debt always will. Now you have to to um, rationalize it there are times when restructuring of debt is important but if you don't make money to pay off debt it doesn't matter how much restructuring you do so i always use the example john and i did with the car loan when we were going to get a car we had the the cash to buy it i think it was like thirty thirty five thousand dollars or something like that and we could have bought the car free and clear and then in four years we would have had to pay for another car but instead, we bought a two-family apartment in Pittsburgh, which ironically, Mike Lilo was our note holder, and it burnt down to the ground. Um, and he was protected, right? That's another thing, right? We make sure you have the right insurance on these notes. So he got paid his amount. But what it did was it spit off $550 every month. So while we didn't buy our car free and clear of cash, we financed it 100, almost 100%. I think we put down... $3,000. That five fifty dollars paid for our car payment, our car insurance, and the gas, a good portion of the gas to run the car. So when five or seven years went by and that car is paid off now, um, it also has 150,000 miles. It also had eight kids go through it. It's not going to run very well in six to eight, six, seven years or whatever. I'm going to have to get another car. I don't have to worry about it because that house just keeps spitting off that cash flow. So when you're looking at this, guys, and the fund and grow, it's only a short term that you're using it for. So 0%, is that really going to make an impact on your debt? You have to ask yourself that. And then the second part is, if I could earn, like uh, David's example, almost $3,500, could I use that $3,500 to use that to pay down my debt? So um, just something to consider. That's obviously a decision you'll have to make, Julio, but I just wanted to give a perspective on it. What's the best number and time to sign up? Oh, I've tried calling, but it goes to voicemail. Okay, so Cheryl put down her contact information. Email, guys, is right now the best. Somehow we are in a um three-year contract with the telephone company service that we have and it's not very efficient for um sending it to our cell phones so if you don't mind just email us and we will promptly respond back all right thanks uh lamb all right any other questions and feel free because you got me on the phone if there are zoom uh any other questions about real estate or anything going on that you have you can ask. Um, this is kind of like Pick My Brain Wednesday. So uh, if you ever have questions you'd like to ask, uh, feel free to, to ask them. All right, everybody. I try to keep these somewhat short because we do them every week. So I try to keep them to about a half hour, 45 minutes and uh, just stay in touch with you guys. So any of these deals, if you're interested in, let us know and uh, we'll be happy to get you involved. And is there a way you can renew your membership? Yes, Julio. Um, Cheryl, if you're on the line, can you just send him a renewal right now? On the new website, you'll be able to do all your uh, memberships on there as well. I don't know if the new one is working properly. So I just wanna let you know that, okay? All right, everybody. Uh, if that's everything, I just wanna send a farewell. Lots of love, virtual hugs to you all. And, uh, see you guys next week all right thanks so much i really miss you guys and uh yeah talk to you next week all right <laughs>